Hello, everybody. Uh, back with the camera project, uh, camera movement system again. Uh, last time I was working out a prototype on, or the layout for a prototype carriage on a piece of cardboard, and I went ahead so I could get a better feel for it and uh, transferred it onto this board. And you can see here that I have the carriage wheels on each end and two of them the two motor mounts uh again it, just to refresh your memory the idea was that i would have a track on both sides on the inside of this little channel uh for the motors to connect to to a timing belt now what i found out uh once i put this on the board and was able to actually get it mounted. Actually, let me back up a little bit. Um, I cut holes into this board um, and cut channels from side to side so I could offset the motors. And I don't know if you can see this here. Yeah, there you go. The motors are offset just a little bit. One to the left, one to the right, so that they'll pressure up against the inside right and inside left of the track. What I didn't think about when I was doing this, and I'm glad I didn't go all the way through with this, is that that causes a differential in the torque uh, from side to side. So, um, let me just show you how this would have fit in there. Um, you know, the electronics would have been mounted up here on the camera or somewhere in there. And the motors would have fit down into the track. And I know this is hard to see, but they would have fit down into the track. See if I can get this in there. Basically, like that. And while, yeah, it will move. The problem is, is that the board wants to tw the carriage wants to twist side to side because the motors aren't directly in line, so they're not applying the torque directly across the track. Um, one of the other things that I found out while just fooling around with this is that my whole plan of gluing and tacking the the uh, timing strip in here. Let's see if I can pull this out. Come on. Come on. There we go. You know, just trying to get the carriage set in there, pop the track off. So, not great. Um... So that's failed experiment number two with the way the carriage was going to work. So what I've done is uh, I've decided, okay, well, I'm going to ban the timing belt, um, or, or I may get another timing belt, but for a different kind of a reverse of the application that I was thinking of. Instead of having uh, one motor offset up here and one motor offset here, I'm going to have the motors side by side so that they're applying torque in exactly a horizontal position across the track. And this would be basically what that is. Um, again, this is just for example purposes. But So I've got two different motors, and these are actually better motors because they have a, uh, they have a smaller uh, step angle. These, I believe, are 1.8 step whereas these are 7.5 so uh, much smoother smaller uh, steps on these and I found some cheap um, plastic uh, gears here that I picked up for I don't know 35 cents a piece at the electronic shop um, that I was able to I now they didn't fit exactly on here so I hollowed out about two-thirds of the space th vertically through th the post hole um, or the shaft hole and then pressed, them, pressed the rest of the way down uh, and got them on there and they're on there real, real tight because there's no screw or anything so then they were just small enough to allow me uh, to have a real nice tight fit. So the idea now is to take these, mount them on a new trolley, 
So just say like this, side by side, so they're directly across from each other, and pretend there are uh, holes for the splines, for the gear splines, in this. So when they move forward, they will be pr uh, providing exactly the same amount of torque directly across the track. And they'll go forward like that and back like this, you know, if assuming this doesn't fail as well as well. Um, now I'm not sure how I'm going to get the grooves uh, in here. It's going to be a lot of work, especially for a six foot track, uh, to do them by hand. Um, I may end up ordering a timing belt and splitting it up and gluing it on the outside of a center rail so there would be uh, half of the track over here and half of the track on this side that those splines would go into but we'll see how that works out uh, but the plan is is that let's say we had this up here like this forget that those other motors are on there um, there will be these mounted here's the Here's the trolley or the carriage, and then to have some sort of, on the carriage, some sort of guide rails along the sides up here and back here that will keep it from twisting, plus with the torque being in the same place, I think this will work much better. Um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update and uh, show you my latest total failure in trolley construction.